Hello everybody, uh, let me to show you the proof that uh, we have uh, successfully imported uh, the data from OpenStreetMap into the traffic model and into this application. So what you can see now here is the traffic uh, model of Bruges. For this hour everything uh, looks uh, more or less smooth as I'm taking the shot uh, in the evening, but if I go to some uh, rush hours during the day so you can see that the traffic is uh, can be quite heavy uh, you know how much the model corresponds to the reality it's still the question of the calibration as is mentioned in the in the report but uh, at least uh, we can see the shape of the model uh, we can see uh, that there is uh, prepared uh, some road closure at this at this road. I'm not going to change it for now, but uh, what I would like uh, to do now is to show the model with the road closure, and I can uh, then see uh, the difference in between the model, the, the experimented model, and the default model. So you can see that there are differences. Uh, I can even compare uh, compare the traffic uh, 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 in a specific visualization as is also presented in the report so you can see where the traffic is heavier now so it's the red color where it goes uh, where there is a decrease de decrease of the traffic which is the which is the blue color for of course so this is the demonstration of uh, of some compression visualization and uh, one more thing I can present here is to uh, add a new event so you can see that I actually can model or something so I will pick up uh, let's say uh, these two segments uh, three segments uh, I would define a restriction here so it means that uh, I decrease the segment capacity to 60% and I decrease the speed limit as, as you can see uh, the difference if I click to the restriction. I will save it, uh, I will update the model, uh, I need to wait uh, the model to be calculated uh, so now you see that uh, the calculation started. And it's quite big model, so we need to wait a bit before we got the results. Uh, but once we got the results, uh, we will be able to again uh, compare it to the default model, or even to some other other experimental model we can create. So now you can see that the model has been recalculated. This is not a complete closure, it's just narrowing the lanes or whatever uh, it would mean. So you can see the different uh, visualization is applied. And uh, you can switch back and forth so you can see the differences. And again, uh, you can compare the newly prepared model to the base model and you can see the difference. So this is pretty much uh, all. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.